it's time to unveil the newest participant in the competition for the greatest camera phone. Folks, it's definitely not the Vivo X80 Pro from last year. Instead, we have a smartphone with some genuinely mind-blowing specifications and a cutting-edge Dimensity 9200 chipset. However, keep your chairs firmly in place because the camera is the true star of the show. We're talking about a 1-inch camera sensor, which is a rare treasure in the world of smartphones and is sure to astound you. And hey, we're not just going to skim through everything. Instead, we're devoting a significant portion of this video to exploring the camera's capabilities in depth. But first, a small favor. Hit that like button and consider subscribing if you're as excited as we are. Alright, let's not keep you waiting any longer. It's time to get right into it. Design. First off, the phone's black vegan leather finish on the back adds a distinctive touch while also making the device feel more sturdy and grippier than the vast majority of smartphones that are now available. Speaking of toughness, the Vivo X90 Pro has a great IP68 rating, which means it is protected against water and dust and will keep you at ease in a variety of settings. Shock sensation is used for the screen, giving the gadget an additional layer of toughness. The Vivo X90 Pro feels pleasantly comfortable and deceptively light in the hand despite its size overall. It's not the lightest phone available, weighing 215 grams, but it handles its weight nicely and is manageable for daily usage. Let's now discuss certain elements that, in my opinion, fell short. Beyond the leather finish, the phone's back is very cluttered with several logos and a large camera module. The Blue Zeiss logo and the Vegel logo are discreet, while the protruding camera module and the metallic strip are more conspicuous. Only three of the lenses are actually lenses. The fourth is reserved for the more potent X90 Pro Plus model, which is only sold in China. The camera module protrudes from the phone by around half a centimeter. While the camera itself is strong, as we'll explore later, the camera module's design might not be to everyone's taste. Screen and Speakers Now let's explore the Vivo X90 Pro's display and audio features. The 6.8-inch curved AMOLED display on this smartphone is spectacular, boasting a full HD Plus resolution and a silky smooth 120Hz refresh rate. But let's be honest, it's not flawless. The X90 Pro's 1260x2800 resolution, which is a small reduction from that of the X80 Pro, falls short of that of its competitors. It's also unfortunate that Vivo didn't give it a fully dynamic refresh rate LTPO display, which would have helped preserve battery life. With a peak brightness of 1300 nits, it is still bright enough for the majority of circumstances. Let's now discuss the stereo speakers. They are quite typical and won't wow you with their sound quality, but they are adequate for playing music or using the speakerphone for phone conversations. Since I don't mind phone speakers in general, it'll be alright with these if you're not particular about them. But enough with the complaints, let's concentrate on the advantages. The HER10 Plus compatibility and vibrant colors on the X90 Pro's display continue to make it a standout feature. Not to mention how comfy the rounded edges are to hold. Specs and performance. Now let's talk about what makes the X90 Pro tick. It's powered by MediaTek's Dimensity 9200 chip, which is a bit of an odd choice compared to the popular Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 found in most other flagships. But don't let that fool you. This phone is still lightning fast and responsive. Sure, it may not top the benchmarks compared to its Snapdragon counterparts, but in real-world usage, you won't even notice a difference. The X90 Pro comes with a hefty 12GB of RAM and generous 256GB of storage, which is more than enough for your daily needs. Unfortunately, there's no option to expand the storage, but let's be real, 256GB is already a ton of space. And of course, you get 5G support, the latest Bluetooth 5.3, and Wi-Fi 6. All in all, the X90 Pro is a beast of a phone that won't disappoint. Camera First, let's talk about the main camera. It's powered by a 50-megapixel Sony IMX989 sensor, which is the biggest sensor you can find in any phone right now. This means it can capture more light, resulting in stunning low-light performance and deep dynamic range. The pictures taken with this camera are just amazing. Now one downside is that there's no periscopic zoom, but the 2x zoom portrait lens does a great job and still gets decent results up to 5x magnification. And let's not forget the supporting lenses, the ultra-wide and 2x telephoto, which are both excellent in their own right. The ultra-wide is not quite as good as the main camera, but still better than most out there while the telephoto fares well enough at low zoom levels to cover most use cases. Overall, the camera setup on this phone is just amazing. You'll be able to take photos that look like they came from a mirrorless or DSLR camera, with natural bokeh effect and photos that look more, well, photographic. And if you're not a fan of the default colors, just tap on the Z's natural color mode, which keeps true-to-life tones without any loss in detail or dynamic range. 
Video recording is also top-notch with options to shoot in 4K at 60 eps or 8K at 24 eps. And let's not forget about the phone's ultra-stabilization, which is among the best around and delivers even more excellent low-light capabilities. All in all, the Vivo X90 Pro is an amazing phone with a camera that is second to none. If you're a photography enthusiast, this phone is definitely worth considering. And that's it for our review of the Vivo X90 Pro. What a phone! From its exceptional main camera to its supporting lenses and impressive video recording capabilities, this device truly delivers on all fronts. If you're someone who loves photography and wants a phone that can truly capture those special moments, then the Vivo X90 Pro is definitely worth considering. So will you be purchasing this phone? Let us know in the comments below. And if you have any questions or queries, feel free to drop them in the comments as well. We're always happy to help. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.